Welcome. Now, if you ever feel overwhelmed by the amount of emails you're receiving as a teacher or a school leader, and you feel like you can never keep on top of it, and you want to make sure that your time is spent on unleashing learning for every student in every classroom, rather than spending your time trying to keep up with emails, this interview is for you. Now, if you've worked with us at Unleash Learning, you know the key of teacher is an essential key in our Unleash Learning system. And that's why this episode is a great way to help bring out the best in you. So Jocelyn Brewer is here and she's a Sydney-based psychologist with 16 years experience in public schools as both a teacher and a counselor. Now she created Digital Nutrition in 2013 as a positive framework for addressing digital well-being issues and our love-hate relationship with technology. And stick around because we have a question for you at the end of this interview that's gonna help you turn this insight into action. So I can't wait to get started. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So okay. I'm really excited about this interview because I know a lot of educators are just overwhelmed with email and we wanna focus on teaching and learning, not necessarily email, right? Really? <laughs> Guys, I know. So I people. know, what are we doing? So the question I've got is, an expert in the field, what are some of the top challenges people are facing just in general around email? Yeah, well, email is just one form of communication mm -hmm. and it's, you know, we tend to have maybe seven email addresses by now, plus all of your different messaging apps. So with work email, mm -hmm. too, it all falls into one bucket. Um, the really important stuff that you do need to action, all of those email subscriptions that you've probably forgotten about and actually don't read very mm. often, except of course for the Unleashed That's learning. right. And digital nutrition news. <laughs> That's letters. right, nice job. <laughs> um, and then all the other fluffy stuff. Mm. So it just fe it feels like a tsunami of information mm. every morning when we check and we end up not sometimes doing any of the checking and, and, and dealing with the priorities there um, or being really good at email and not doing all of the other really mm. important deep work that we should be doing. So in my case, writing a thesis, but for many people, mm. you know, really innovating their programs or differentiating or doing their accommodations mm. and all of those sorts of things. So. I think what's really powerful about that is what's the deep work and sometimes we spend time on email because it's, yeah. I don't want to say it's easier, but it gets us away from the deep work, which is a little bit more a little bit more cognitively, if we will, intense. Absolutely. So feeling like we're replying to things and we're ticking things off mm. and getting through some of that then makes us feel like, oh, I've done things. But at the end of the day, when we do look at what we've done, it sometimes isn't the really big and important things that we wish we actually had time and yeah. mental energy to do. It's really powerful. Yeah. So why do, as educators and educational leaders, do we need a strategy around email, specifically our profession? Exactly mm -hmm. that. So we do the deep work. Yeah. yeah. So we don't get caught up in maybe replying to some of the little fluffy things mm -hmm. that could have, you know, could be conversations or can be really, really quick replies yeah. or reading the big long emails or, you know, just getting stuck, I guess, with all of that information um, and not making time to carve out for, for doing the important stuff, which mm -hmm. we've, we've talked about today in yeah. terms of needing to put time aside to go to do really deep attention focused work. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the million dollar question. Um, I've met so many educators like, just help. I'm just, mm -hmm. this is, yeah. so give us a few strategies that as teachers yeah. and educational leaders we could use. Okay to manage email so that we can get to the deep work, which yeah. why we got in the profession in the first place. So number one is to be a little bit ruthless with using your delete button. Mm. So sometimes in some particular weeks, you're not gonna have time to read every email or every newsletter. Mm. And so really wrangling or doing a bit of a Marie Kondo and digitally mm. decluttering mm. and thinking about how is this adding to your knowledge base yeah. or you know, is it honoring your time? So being able to delete and unsubscribe batching the time mm -hmm. that you check your email, all right? So actually saying maybe I'll check in the morning, I'll work out what things I can reply to really quickly, I'll carve out some time for the the, the kind of longer emails yeah. later and not kind of be checking all the time because it is a bit, a bit of an intermittent reward system. You never know when that email zombie is gonna <laughs> re rise from the dead. The other thing is to get those work emails off your phone. Mm -hmm. And mm. what I find is that lots of people are checking their emails right up till before bed or they're replying mm. on tablets or devices that aren't actually really great for replying in depth. So really have a think about the utility of having email on mm. your phone and really think about the kinds of replies that you want to be spending. I think it's really important yeah. to have that this has been sent from my phone, apologies for brevity, yeah. um, but actually never apologize for being short in emails because we need to kind of churn and burn through those so mm. we're not spending lots of time. So don't apologize for brevity <laughs> and get your email off your phone or at least don't check before bed. I think they're really powerful strategies because I, I mean, from the conversation where I keep thinking about 
what's the deep work? Why am mm. I really doing this job? Yeah. What are the outcomes I want? And then that's the other stuff. So I'll get to that afterwards and having a strategy yeah. around that. So too, just notice why we're not prioritizing mm. the deep work. The deep work is where we kind of flourish and grow and all of the opportunities are there. And we are actually quite frightened of what's possible when we step into that. So we do, it's just, uh, it's just procrastination. And procrastination isn't about time management, it's about mood management. Mm. So you think, I'll do really that, that job a lot better tomorrow because yeah. I'll be more in the zone but you're actually doing nothing to get yeah. more in the zone. You're just getting more overwhelmed because you haven't, you've got less time or you've yeah. got more emails or you've got, you know, playground duty or whatever it that's is. That's right. So procrastination <laughs> is actually at the bottom of all of this. It is. And that's not a technology thing. Uh, that's no, a human thing. It is. Yeah? But I, and I think it is, what's the real reason I'm doing the work and keep mm. focused there and mm. having these strategies. So Absolutely. we um, want to ask you a question. Um, Jocelyn gave some really specific tips when it comes to your email. So we want to know, what is one thing you're considering doing that will help you manage your emails based on what Jocelyn talked about? So some of the best conversations take place in the comment section of the blog. So jump over there and join the conversation. Um, while you're there, if you don't have it, you know about the Ultimate Classroom Setup Guide. It's our free ebook, and that's gonna help you get organized as well in terms of how that classroom is set up. So Jocelyn, thank you so thank much you for helping us understand this. I'm thinking about when do I check emails? So I'm gonna start thinking about that. And as always, thank you for the work you're doing for the world. The ways you unleash learning, that's what it's all about. So we're hoping this is gonna help you get to that and we are cheering you on. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.